Hey everybody! Happy Halloween, and welcome to Penumbra Lane. This is a point-and-click adventure game slash visual novel developed entirely by one hazy-eyed and released in December of last year. That's uh, December of 2022 at the time of this recording. I, uh, I like this game a lot. I, lo I love the art style, I love the general vibes, I love the music. I just, I think it's very charming, and it's good, and I want to show it off for you all. You, If uh, this game seems interesting to you at any point during this video, you can go buy it on itch for a name your own price sort of deal, and I highly recommend you do so. It's good. Um, before we begin, I just want to give a few content warnings. Uh, there's a lot of, well, not a lot of, it's mainly contained to like the various bad ends, but there is a rather substantial amount of body horror and gore to be found here. Uh, there's also a, as you can see by this title screen here, there's also a pretty consistent motif of teeth. Uh, really big, sharp animal teeth. I don't know if there's a name for a phobia of that offhand. I don't know, dentophobia, maybe? <laughs> But uh, if you're sensitive to any of these things, you may wish to proceed with caution. Having said all that, let's get started. This game has multiple endings. You are encouraged to save as often as possible in order to explore the best possible outcome. I will be going for all the endings today. All the ones that I know of, anyway. There might be more that I don't know about, but there's at least five. Penumbra Lane is best experienced with headphones. It's true, the soundtrack is real good. Enjoy, Hazy. Eviction notices are so cold and sterile. I thought the landlord was cool with me. Guess not. I had 30 days to leave, 28 when I finally noticed the thick envelope underneath all the others. It hurt. Mostly because I already knew the rent was too much for me to handle. But I was certainly not going to stay and rot. With the looming pressure of homelessness on the horizon, I wondered if change would finally come. And then, one day, something did change. In the, in the middle of hunting for a new place to live, I got a phone call from a number I didn't recognize. Hello? Hello, Xavier. Good to finally speak with you. What? Who is this? Don't you recognize my voice? No, I don't. I'm the man who's just sold you a new place to live. What? You picked up the brochure we left you, right? For... Pleasant Keep Apartments? Yeah. You're guaranteed to be accepted if you apply this week, you know. Something about the oily way he spoke was unnerving, but I told myself I needed this. Um, what's the address? It's on 8327 Halo Crosswise. I vaguely remembered walking past the location a few days ago. There's an insurance building there, I think, but no apartment complex. How did you get this number? What if I told you that the rent you're paying now is astronomical compared to what I offer? I'd tell you that I appreciate the offer, but I'm just not interested. Listen, kid. You're already deep in this. All roads lead to Penumbra. What the he- Don't call me again! Despite all that, I still applied online. Sure, he was a bit pushy, but what choice did I have? The pictures did seem nice, and the reviews weren't that bad. When I entered my password and email in the login, my account said, Current Resident. I sat in my living room, littered with flimsy packing boxes, and thought about everything. If I hadn't gotten that brochure, I'd probably be sitting at the bus stop at daybreak and missing every single one until a passerby suddenly became generous. Trying to explain to co-workers why I don't have a ride home again. 
trying to wonder whether a day off meant I could stay home and starve instead of scrounging around the work fridge for an abandoned yogurt. Fuck it, I'm leaving tonight. I arrived at Pleasant Keep late into the evening, an hour before daybreak. Thought that said Lane for a hot second. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done this in like a month and a half. Please bear with me. I could barely keep my footing. It's quiet. Someone is in this room with me. This doesn't feel right, but it seems like there's a light switch nearby. Let's find that light switch. I take a step forward and turn the light on. It doesn't seem to be working, but now my hand is covered in something sticky. You're wasting electricity, and that costs me money. What if we never left the darkness? You could disappear here. This could be the moment. Nobody would miss you. Uh, welcome to Penumbra Lane, friend. That, uh, door behind you, though, is locked. I, uh, you're gonna unlock it, right? No, I'm not. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. But seriously, the door is locked. That wasn't a joke. What? Repeating yourself gets annoying after a while, kid. I'm trapped in here. Looks like there's no turning back now. What's the name of this place again? Penumbra Lane, friend. THE apartment complex of all time. Don't you mean... Pleasant Keep? Never heard of it. I meant what I said. But... The application. You said I was already approved. I... And you were. Listen, I'm obviously very busy here. Do you really need anything else? Please, hesitate to ask if you need anything. I recognize you. I recognize your voice. You called me on the phone a few nights ago. That's me, you're right. Sorry about the hastiness. Sales, you know. What? Nothing. You are just... You are much more pink than I imagined you'd be. I... It's nice to finally meet you too? What the hell have I gotten myself involved with? Forget it, just give me my room key, man. A wise decision. Da 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 da! Just ignore the eye on the key, we'll be fine. I'm so tired. I'm gonna make my way up to my room. I peep through the reverse peephole. Is that even a thing? There's someone looking back at me. I should mind my own business. Ah. Uh, this picture is slick with something viscous. Gross. Nobody has watered this elbow plant in days, and yet it still festers beautifully. That's pretty cool. I knock on the door. There's no answer, but it sounds like someone is pushing things up against the door. This is a note from the landlord. It reads, Focus on the flesh and blood. Rent is due on the 18th of each month, or you're gone. Enjoy your stay at Penumbra Lane. Focus on the flesh and blood? I'm sure that doesn't mean anything ominous, let's just go in our room. I'm exhausted. Should I go inside? Indeed. Not the worst apartment I've seen, technically. That's a good album. This is a picture of the landlord. It has a tag attached that says, Do not remove by penalty of the law. It's kind of hideous. 
This appears to be a picture that is covering uneven plaster on the wall behind it. It is emitting warm air. Gross. Nothing else to look at? Doesn't seem like it. My fold-out bed. It was frustrating to carry up the stairs. The light through the window is overbearing, but I'm going to have to put up with it. Should I have a rest? No time like the present. Uh-oh. The soundtrack got ominous. My eyelids burn. My chest feels like it's collapsing into itself. My hands are numb. What? Awaken, sweet creature. I would like to birth you anew. Normal thing to say. I'm wide awake now, but I can't even scream. Why won't I scream? G get the fuck off of me! I will, momentarily. I find myself a tad lovestruck. What? You must be the one who paid in advance. Oh gods, that fucking landlord set me up. I'm going to die here. You are right to fear for your life, but I'm not going to take it from you. I can see you plainly now. You're just like the others, but your eyes are brighter. I wonder whatever makes the flesh taste sweet. What the hell are you? I am the Maw. The structure behind every load-bearing wall here. What do you want? Just you. However, I will yield. Let us find if our visions align. Okay! Uh, not the greatest thing to wake up to. I feel like this is supposed to be, uh, Xavier's line here. My eyes feel like they're going back into my head. Maybe we can just... leave? What happened to the... Do you still want to leave? It's a decision you will regret, I think. What would happen if I stayed? I would introduce you to the walls, and you would become one of us. You could stay and become beautiful. It happens to all of us eventually, but especially you. Uh, yeah, I want to go. Please let me leave. All right, fair enough. However, I want to show you something before you leave. I want to know if you see what I see. And what if I don't want to see it? You don't have a choice. All right then, what do you want from me? Listen closely, I will present you with the riddle. There are 127 beautiful victims of Penumbra Lane. When they died, they left their eyes behind. They favor the blind. How many victims' deaths were painful? What? What the hell kind of riddle is that? Uh, maybe I should look around for some kind of clue. Indeed. Just going to uh, drop a save here. We could look for a clue to the riddle, or I'm getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> My bad. Uh, let's just look at these. Do you have open doors? Are things peeking into those doors at night? 
Three out of nine doctors recommend that you close them. Yes, close them. Close them now. Okay, that's all for that. What about this one? There's something written on the back of this page. The psychological slash mythological symbolism behind blue. A study on Penumbra Lane. Carl, I am writing this to you from a room in Penumbra Lane. I finally managed to complete some research on all the happenings here. Please understand that this will be, will be my final note to you, as my research has proved to be more trouble than I care to admit. The deaths that occur in this building manifest themselves as eyes on the walls. Those that died in great pain leave behind eyes that are some spectrum of blue. I have found no explanation behind this phenomenon, but have witnessed more than one new tenant enter into this very room without ever leaving, only later to find a new eye on the wall. In this place, when you close your eyes, you are somehow able to envision those past tenants, and the projection of their souls onto the walls. It is beautiful, and terrible, and so I decided to take residence in this very room, for the sake of scientific advancement. Smart decision. Unfortunately, it is not without sacrifice. The creature holding me hostage has allowed me to write this last note. I will wish whoever reads this good luck. And Carl, if this makes it to you, know that you still owe me five dollars. Dr. Teff. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me... Let me just save again, because I'm very smart. If you, uh... Let me try that again. We can progress forward, or... I'm ready to give to the cause. Oh? So you have realized the truth of it all, then. Fret not, ugly thing. Would you like to be beautiful painfully or slowly? Uh, at this point, it doesn't matter which one you pick, because the ending is the same. A wise decision. <laughs> this isn't even labeled as an ending, it's just, you messed up, try again, buddy. And we will. Let's close our eyes. Maybe if I close my eyes, I could see things differently. Here's hoping. How? Now you can see what I see. And what is your answer? If we were to count all the blue shaded eyes, we would add up to 18. I believe these other two choices just lead back to that. <laughs> back to the horrible, gory mess, so. I see you are ready to finish your journey. You're fucked up for what you're doing to these people. Will you be intact enough to warn anyone else? Yeah, I will. You are insolent. I dislike this. However, you are free to leave. Cool, I guess. Oh, it's you again. Why, what's wrong, Xavier? I'm gonna be real with you. Knocking you out sounds like a damn good idea right now. Ah, you actually survived then. That's not bad, I guess. What the hell is your problem? No problems here. I'm just a poor soul trying to make a living. Just like you were. I want out. Now. Did you set me up? Of course not. This is Penumbra Lane, home of many happy tenants. If anybody told you otherwise, they're wrong. So how do I get out of here? You don't. You shut up and go back to your room. You can't be serious. Yeah, dumbass, I am. We both know you came here for a reason. And lucky for you, I'm kind enough not to exploit it. But you are... Not quite. I tell you what. 
Get the key to each of those doors behind you, and you can go. What are you on about? I'm making a deal with you. If you can get those keys, I'll let you leave. I promise. Dude. You can sleep, you can eat, you don't even have to go back to your cozy little room if you don't want to. I'm nice, so I'll even give you a map of the complex. How does that sound? No, this shit ain't it. But it's gotta be. How else are you going to leave? Right through the... Door. Oh gods. I don't like the idea of playing any of your games. I didn't think you would. But you will, and I'll tell you why. Let's say I ditch the policy. I let you go, right now. Okay? Okay. Your family can't stand the sight of you. And you have nowhere else to go, anyway. You lost your job. Hell, you couldn't even afford rent when you had one. How did you... Know that? I know everything about my tenants, Xavier. Everything. It's sort of my job, see? And... I get a refund for my deposit. Right? Wrong. You get back 15% of what you sunk into this bullshit. Because you don't call the shots around here. Now, the deal still stands. Get the keys, and you get to go. What's your pick, pal? Let me just save real quick. Screw this dude. We want our refund. Seriously? You're still on about the refund? I think maybe you talk too much. I think maybe I don't like you anymore. And we die. <laughs> Ending 1. Stubborn Strawberry. Pretty gruesome. Let's try that again. Fine. We'll go along with it. Yeah, okay, you got a point. Deal. Great choice, pal. A really great choice. As promised, here's the map of the apartments. Good luck. I can't believe this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I guess I'll go to the kitchen first. <laughs> what a cozy kitchen. It's another advert of Pleasant Keep. That fucking landlord. I knew he was lying to me. I knew I wasn't crazy. What is this lampshade made of? It's familiar. And hairy. Gross. It's stuck to the wall with some sort of thick glue. There are holes in the eyes where someone can look out. I'm uncomfortable. Should I investigate the clown? <laughs> Press X to investigate the clown. You feel a sense of extreme unease while looking at this painting. You're having a hard time keeping your metal under its gaze. You notice that there are wet spots where the eyes should be. Okay. The crackling static of the TV is soothing. Faded frames of an old rerun of some unscripted show is playing over and over couple is looking for their perfect home, trying to make a decision. Oh god, is this is this that show on HGTV where it's just like I sell ladybugs for a living and I'm and I'm a a homeopathic gymnast. Our budget is twenty million dollars. <laughs> After a few frames, you can see the happy couple sitting on a couch, a set of keys and her fingertips. In the last home, you can see a dim, flickering image of something standing on the wall behind them. They can't see it. You decide not to look anymore. Probably for the best. Uh. There's something stuck to the wall in the corner of the room. It is not making any sound except for a thin, long trickle of moaning from its jaw. 
You can barely make out words within the noises. Why does safety feel like a prison? Okay. <laughs> I don't think that ever gets an explanation. It's just creepy. Let's check the fridge. It's a fridge. Kinda. Ooh, theremin snacks, my favorite. Whoa. Huh? It's my favorite cookie brand. Z's Ultra Frozen Mega Munchie Delights, 13,000. Coconut caramel wafers with chocolate undersides, with a stranger's face on every cookie. I mean, until that last part, that sounded pretty good. Suddenly your stomach turns with desperation, and you realize how exhausted you are. Fueled by ravenous hunger, you open the still cold jar with eager, eager claws and push several cookies past your jaws. Hmm? There's a note in the jar. Yes, obviously you should read the note. To whoever reads this, please understand that I have not been myself since working here. I'm keeping these scraps of paper as evidence to both myself and to whoever is reading that I was not always this way. None of this is making any sense. These walls, they turn me. Everyone I've talked to is dead now. I admit that I'm unkind. I admit that I have a hatred for most creatures, and that I've done things to people I am ashamed to repeat aloud. I'm a scavenger and a con artist, sure, but not a murderer. The screams I heard coming from that room make me fucking sick. But I didn't try and stop it. I don't know why. My jaw is in so much pain from grinding my teeth and my sleep. It's already gone too far. I think I'm going to try and quit. Well, that probably didn't turn out well, huh? It's the same damn guy I've seen plaster all over the building. He's oddly cute. Covered in scars, but smiles sweetly. Mouth so full of teeth. He has rows of exposed fangs and bright eyes. I think I've seen this guy on the news. But more importantly, why does the landlord have a picture of a random guy in the apartment fridge? Great question. There is a variety of damp cheese here. Some of it looks alright, but I think the gruyere is moving. You wonder why humans even like this stuff. It's not even good. Disagree. It's a key. Trapped in ice. Yes, take the key. You're looking for those, remember? You got the frozen key! I'll hold on to this for a while. It's a good thing I wore these pants full of pockets. I hope they're not trip pants. Okay, now what? Oh, now the fridge is covered in blood. How appetizing. Hey, kid. You open the fridge at all lately? Uh... Yeah? Then you must have got something cold from it, eh? Come on, kid, you can trust me. I'm really, really trustworthy. And trustable. Look, look, my name is Gerald. It's real simple. Gerald. See how nice that flows off the tongue? Not like that other guy. What other guy? You know, the, uh... The other guy. Sort of tallish and intimidating. Big, big smile. You're talking about the landlord. Exactly! I'm talking about the landlord. Okay, so you're smart then. Nice to meet you. You're a talking... painting? <laughs> no, it's actually really freaking hot back here. Like, you have no idea. That's why I need your help. Let me guess. You're part of the curse of this place. Oh, <laughs> no, that's a whole entire separate thing. I fell asleep while I was cleaning and ended up in the walls. Cleaning? You know the jingle. Gerald the janitor? 
Gerald, 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 he's the guy. It, uh, yeah, I know it well. That was terrible, but you pretend to ignore it. Boy, that's good for business, then, for whenever I get out of here. But, uh, no, really, you're gonna die if you don't get out of here. Matter of fact, this lobby has no exits or entrances. And I haven't eaten in about a week. What's that got to do with me? I don't trust you. Listen, just trust me blindly. It'll be fine, I promise. Dog, what? I travel by Vint, kid. You gotta help me out. Give me something cold and I'll open up a secret staircase. It'll take you to Dismal's room. I can't open the fridge back up. That key will do just fine, bud. Hand it over. Please? Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll make a save first before I do that. No. Do you really think I'm going to burn up back here all because of you? Well, <laughs> that didn't work out, huh? That must have been ending too. Okay, fine. Despite your reservations, you gave Gerald the key. A thud on the wall before you knocks loose drywall, and pieces of it fall to the floor. The painting's canvas material comes apart between thin, dark fingers. A long, filthy hand snakes out to reach for the frozen key, now slightly melted from its time spent in your pocket. Wait just a fucking moment, couldn't you have busted through this wall the entire time- Whoa, man that's a relief. I can finally breathe a little bit. That's... that's good, I guess. So what happens ne Suddenly, the long fingers snake out and grab your entire face. You are pulled through the hole in the wall, which is much too small for you. It definitely hurts. You are pulled through the darkness for a long time, with only the sound of bending metal in your ears and the smell of dank flesh to fill your nostrils. You wake up sore on some sort of cot on the ground in front of a door. Exhausted, you walk down a hallway to stop in an almost pitch black corridor. I think this is it, although I can barely read the damn map. Is this hand drawn? You reach forward with a fist to knock on the door, tentatively, but before you do, it opens suddenly. It's open. You walk inside. Uh... Hi. Hello. What is your name? My name is Dismal. Do you... know who I am? Yep. Do you know why I'm here? Yep, I sure do. Oh, okay. That's really something, considering I've only been here for a few hours or so. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look, I'm sorry. I know this is a little awkward and that you're confused. I'm just tired. That's alright. I think I'll manage. That's whatever. Well, go on. Right. Time for a dialogue tree. Actually, before we do that, I need a drink. Out of practice for this. <laughs> Not where I should be with, with regards to throat endurance, I guess. Anyway, are you okay? Obviously, I don't get out much. Everything is not in its right place. <laughs> but I'm fine. I guess. Can you tell me what's going on? Not really, no. I just live here, and I follow the rules in turn. This place has turned me completely. I am a part of it, as it is me. If you can get all these keys, You'll be one step closer to helping us all. So, uh, good luck. 
What are all these bottles doing here? I collect streetlight fog, package it in these bottles, and then send them off to places I find online. People send me money back, sometimes. Teeth. Others. You've been outside the apartments then? You can leave? <laughs> it's not like any other outside I've seen, man. You don't understand Penumbra Lane. Nobody before you has, either. But I really hope you make it out. What the hell is the landlord's problem? Oh, buddy, you've got no idea what you're in for. He's just as fucked up as anybody here, honestly. The landlord isn't the worst of it. He's only a cog in the machine. You'll learn that eventually. Are you here by choice? I thought I was. Until I couldn't leave. I've gotten quite used to it. The door is right there, but... Why would I leave? It's safer here. It's not like anything good is going to happen to me out there, anyway. Sometimes I think about it, though. Uh... So... I think I'm supposed to ask you for a key? Yep. Right. Have you... Got it with you? I can't give it to you. What? Why not? Because I just... Can't. Okay? That's really disappointing to hear. Yeah, well, life is just that way. Well, then where do I go from here? Look, dude. The key's on the wall behind us. If you can figure out how to get it, you can have it. I see. I'm sorry I can't really help you out more. That's alright. I didn't figure this would be easy. Well, guy, I hope you like tacos, because I haven't eaten all day. I do, actually. Tacos are awesome. That's good. I've never had a guest over, so... I'll... I'll give you some time to figure it out. Okay, time to puzzle out how to get this key. If I could find a way to break this glass material, I could get the key. I like this. It's kind of creepy. There's something stuck on the back. It's a piece of paper. Yes, read the piece of paper. Stable carsis is born in a gaseous state, but a special mixture is added to it for optimal texture and to concentrate it into a liquid. When the sample is first collected, carsis has a wonderful burgundy color. Properly aged chemical carsis will become a pleasant greenish blue color once the reagent is added. One should take care to note that carsis mixed with any concentration of the substance Veil Eye will cause a violent chemical reaction. Warning, this chemical reaction results in a toxic gas that will flood any room and shatter any nearby glass. Veil Eye should be stored in a warm, dry place on a surface that is not carpeted. Okay. Seems like we need some carsis and some Veil Eye to get to that key. It's a Stygian calendar. Why is Dismal getting the newest calendar each year when he doesn't leave the apartment? You might want to remember this number here. And more importantly, how? Amongst boxes of streetlight fog, Dismal has a set of chemicals stored away in blue bottles. It's a bottle of something called Carsis. I think I'll take it. Doo doo. The label reads that this is highly unstable and probably shouldn't be mixed with anything else. Guess what we'll be doing immediately? The safe is labeled Veil Eye Storage. It has a four digit code. Let me just enter that in real quick. Thank you, calendar. Flats clicked. The safe opened to reveal a small red bottle. The bottle is labeled Veil Eye. I should pour this onto the glass that encases the key. I'll pour the Carsis onto it as well. That should help. The glass doesn't shatter, but rather it melts off the wall and onto the floor as a gross, opaque paste. Hey, I'm finished with these top. Oh. 
You figured it out. I see. That's good. I'm glad. Are you really? Yeah, I am. But there are certain people who are... not. Regardless, I think you'll be alright. Probably. Do you really think so? You're like... the only guy to come in here and not... um... die. Thanks, I guess. Here, take this. Da -na -na -na. You gonna go get the other keys? Yeah, I am. Well, good luck, man. Watch out for... well, you know. Yeah, I will. Hey, Xavier. Yeah? Stay alive so we can have those tacos, okay? I'm gonna try, man. Well, that's that, I suppose. One down... It should be four to go. Technically three. Because we got that frozen key earlier. I don't know if the, the painting man gave it back to us. Anyway. Instinctively, you begin to walk down the corridor in search of something new. Maybe from here I should look for a... Hmm? You notice that beneath your feet are thick, coarse cables leading down the hall and up a flight of stairs. You have a feeling that you should follow them, but you are uneasy at the thought. Curiosity's gotten me this far, I suppose. You walk for some time, passing through the kitchen at one point. Somehow, you don't remember that door at all. In fact, you recall Gerald telling you that there was no escape. You are pulled towards the distant tinkling of machinery, followed by a small, familiar pattern of beeps. Is... someone trying to call for help? You knock on the door and it opens immediately. A small, slender hand extends itself towards you. Uh, hi. I need a drink. I wonder if that Morse code in the background spells out anything. Anyway. Hello. She studies you curiously with wide yellow eyes. It's, um... Nice to meet you, smiley face. My name is Ellie. Uh, sorry. My name is Xavier. Oh, I know. I know everything about you. I've been sort of watching. <laughs> Frowning smiley face. I... what? Don't worry, not in a creepy way. Unless, of course, you might like that. What? Nothing. Alas, it is nice to finally lay eyes upon you. You have a nice, comfortable soul. That's... kinda cute. What does it mean? It means you're not fit for this place at all, smiley face. Okay, dialogue tree. Do you like being here? I hate it here. Unfortunately, it's home sweet home for right now. This place used to go under another name, and that's when I moved in. But that was years ago now. So here I am, alone. But I, um, I manage. I have ways of managing. What's with all the wires and stuff? Oh, this. It's my way out of here one day. Maybe even soon if I work hard enough. All of this is stuff I've just collected over the years. Most of it is a damn waste. What do you mean? I guess, I mean, I've mostly given up hope on most human devices. Especially since every time I've patched through to them, they can't understand me. It sucks. But what are you gonna do? Try again, I guess. Exactly. I like the way you think. Have you come into contact with anyone from the outside yet? <laughs> uh, yes and no. Everyone that comes to visit runs away from me. I'm starting to think I may be trying too hard. But if I stop trying, there's not really a point in living, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, that was really dark. But it's the truth. At any rate, most of the villager <laughs> villagers... Villagers, I am not playing Animal Crossing right now. At any rate, most of the visitors are sticks. Although once or twice we've had a human stumble in here. What happened to them? 
They're in the walls now. Indifferent face. I don't know how to... <laughs> anyway. It's not, it's not quite a frown. You know what it is. You know what, you know what that emotion is. Who's come to visit besides me? It looks like you guys don't get many visitors. Oh, far from it. We do. Most of them just kind of get eaten by the walls on their way here. Some of them has their, have their eyeballs plucked, or their souls turned into cafeteria jello, or... Please. I mean, that's enough. Please. Sorry. Why is it so cold in here? Oh, so yeah, there's a blizzard outside. What? That doesn't seem right. I was downstairs in the lobby only an hour ago when it was raining. You left the lobby and you're still alive? Oh, wow. Good for you, I suppose. Honestly, the cold is best for restoring all these old electronics and for reviving frequencies. In the distance on some nights, I can see a small blinking red light. One night it was so bright I couldn't rest. So I've dedicated myself to trying to contact it. Maybe if I find it, I can find some answers. You are trying to listen to Ellie, but the cold is racking your body with shivers. Anyways, I should give you a blanket. She hands you a heavy gray blanket that smells like floral dryer sheets and is speckled with lint. It's soft and stops you from shivering. Very cozy. I hope you make it out of here. Colon three. Thank you, smiley face. What are the rest of, th of the things on the wall for? Oh, those. Those are countless artifacts I've collected from exploring the complex. Soul pages, flyers, maps, notes from contractors, and even letters from the mall before he turned. Turned? I thought that fucking guy was ageless. No, no, he is. But time is cruel to everyone, Xavier. And the greatest victim, the Maw. I wouldn't call him a victim. Oh, but yes, he's the worst victim of all of us. Only second to the Landlord. It's a fact that everyone who has come in besides the Landlord and the Maw has become a permanent tenant. I found so many notes from visitors, and have hung them on my wall here, too. By visitors, I mean... Ones like you, who have tried in vain to solve the mysteries of Penumbra for the sake of every tenant. Sadly, we have fallen ill with the sickness of this place, but you can help. This is much bigger than I ever thought, but I think the right person can do it. You seem a little obsessed with this place. I'm not obsessed. I'm just focused. I want to leave, whether I do it alone or not. Wouldn't you have no choice but to be alone? Maybe. Maybe not. Hopefully I can find someone before then. Or maybe when I finally get out there. I'm going to work my ass off until I can leave. That's the way I've always been. Nobody else is going to get me out of here, that's for sure. But I like the idea. I like the idea of leaving with someone who cares about me. That's really sweet. Really? I'm lonely too. I understand. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. I hope you get out of this place alive. One can hope, I guess. Do you have a key for me? Yeah, actually, I do. It took me a while, but I managed to scoop it out of the last victim. Scoop? Indeed. One little thing, though. I need your help before I give you the key. Uh, sure. Thank you. It's honestly really easy. So there's this guy who's actually inside my closet, and he won't leave. I'm not actually sure how he got in there, but I think he climbed in from the window or broke in or something. Oh, good. Not at all. So he got in there, and now he won't leave, and it's really annoying. The only way to get him to leave is to call him. The problem is I don't know his phone number. Okay. Find out his phone number and give him a call for me, and he'll leave, I'm pretty sure. My phone hasn't been working since I got in here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, don't worry, that's just because you're trapped. Outgoing calls beyond Penumbra Lane will fail, but not once to another tenant. That's fucked up, but it makes sense. Okay, good. Are you ready then? 
Sure, I guess. Hi! You are letting in all of the light. I am displeased. Excuse me? Dog, what are you doing in Ellie's closet? My name is No Name. You're a creep. Get out of here before I kick your ass. That's not very nice. Listen, you're making this really difficult for the both of us. The sooner you kick rocks, the sooner I can get the hell out of here. And the sooner I can help some other people, too. Stop bothering her, alright? Don't you have somewhere else to be? Fine. We will leave. For a price. I'm listening. I need you to give me a phone call. Okay, I figured. That's seriously it, though? Yes. Give me your number. Listen closely, and we will tell you. I... If I listen, will you leave? We will concede. We are a part of these walls, as many others are. Go on. Alright, time to listen to a story. On some afternoon, two men crossed paths. We will call them B and C. B was smart as a whip and good with numbers. He loved cheating at games. C was a cruel, gaunt young man, but charming and charismatic. Be sure to pay attention to the numbers here, you don't just click them left or right. Also, I need another drink. This recording is going on longer than I thought it would, but I will per persevere for the sake of the video. <laughs> it's fine. C drank blood to keep himself from becoming pale, and so his skin maintained a pinkish hue. Throughout each day, he drank seven glasses of blood. On the hottest day of summer, B and C found an abandoned insurance building, which was renovated and modified to become home to many. The business wasn't doing well. Only six tenants lived there. B decided he would be in charge of rentals, and C would manage the property behind the scenes. Unfortunately, the men had unwittingly invested in cursed land. Unbeknownst to the new owners, ancient text kept the building sealed away with misery. Four times a month, a prospective tenant should die to keep the building pleased. So speaketh the gods. On a cold winter night, B bludgeoned C with a hammer and then wrapped the body in gauze nine times. B had lost his mind to the building and its curse, and so did his best not to miss, not to miss his business partner and friend. I know what words are. He told himself he had zero regrets. On the next night, B buried C under the wooden floorboards with eight kinds of nails. Thinking he finally had the business to himself, B made plans to sell everything and leave. But his victim was very much alive, and held him captive, now one with the walls. Were you following along with the story? Did you pay attention to key details? I hope you did. The phone number is... 276-4908. Yes. Finally, I can leave. And he's gone. You did it! I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. What's wrong? Savior. What if you didn't leave? What if you stayed with me? I know it's not ideal. But we could really make this happen, I think. I know it's selfish of me, but I feel like there's a connection between us, even though I just met you. If you leave here now, we may never find each other again. There's no telling how we might end up. I know it sounds fucked up, and I understand if you say no. 
excuse me for a moment, Ellie. You know what? We can we can chill here for a while. Those other keys aren't going anywhere, right? Well, you've got nothing to lose, really. You could stay for just a bit. It's been a long time since you've been in anyone's presence. Physically or otherwise. She's cute. And it's either this or death. I think I would like that very much. You would? Oh, Xavier, I'm so happy! I've been very lonely for a long time. I know I don't have much to offer you, but I think I could make this home. I could focus on leaving later, I suppose. I'm tired. Then rest with me. Xavier, have you ever been beautiful? Would you like to be? <laughs> Not ideal. <laughs> Let's just go. I really like you, but I can't stay. There's no telling how the mall might use you to hurt me. I'm the last hope for you guys, and I still have three more keys to get. I'm really sorry. I understand. I do. It was silly of me to think otherwise. You have a job to do. If I get out of here, you don't have to keep looking for that light. I'll come back for you. That would be nice, I think. Smiley face. Here, take this. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Good luck, Xavier. Smiley face. I have some work to do. I'll see you later. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, two down. Three to go. Shouldn't be long now. You're exhausted. Walking down the hallways of Penumbra, you find it difficult to concentrate on much. Without warning, your legs collapse out from under you. When you come to, you're sitting in a chair. The chair is soft, nestled in a corner of the hallway and surrounded by photos of individuals who appear to be grossly disfigured. Your legs are throbbing with pain. You haven't slept since you arrived and your back aches. Relatable. It should be about time for you to get going. But you're so tired. What is even the point of leaving? Where were you going in the first place? Even if you get all the keys, would the landlord let you go? Would the maw still haunt you? There isn't really a way out of this, is there? Oops. Pay no attention to those. No, there isn't. Everyone before me has died. Why should I be different? I should rest for a while. Something else to do. Who knows? Maybe I might die in my sleep. <laughs> I think I would like that. I wonder if anyone is thinking of me on the other side. Doubt that. Welp. <laughs> Obviously a bad idea. But the chair was so comfy though. Alright, let's get out of here. There is every possibility that this place will be my grave. What the hell did I do to deserve this? I keep arriving in places and I can never seem to leave. I still want my fucking deposit. If I'm going to die, I'm taking the landlord with me. There's no time to rest, even. If I make any, any space for death, it will overtake me quickly. I have to get up. I cannot die here. With the hope of retrieving your deposit, you get back up and start the trek once more. How long have you been walking? The map is useless at this point. The only place that made sense was the lobby and the kitchen, but 
you're long past those rooms. You can't even see any doors. It's all just hallways filled with random objects, paintings, and the occasional pot of plant. You've lost track of time. The twists and turns of this place seem to become more maze-like as time goes on. Finally, you double back to find a door near the bottom of some stairs. Lost in the dizziness of sleep deprivation, you open the door and step inside. It's someone's home, or so it seems. The air is pierced by an acrid scent and is filled with incense smoke. Immediately realizing your fault, you take a step back, bumping into something solid. Ain't this a bitch. People just walking in my place now. The audacity of some people. Whoa, I'm sorry man, I'm just looking around. I don't mean any harm. I'm tired as fuck, I've been walking around for hours now. I'm looking for the rest of the keys. Well, I ain't got no- Wait, the rest? You mean to say you found some of them already, yeah? Yeah. I got one from Ellie, one from Dismal. Holy... By the gods, alright. I'm impressed. Ask me whatever you like, then. What's your name? <laughs> it's Sixth. Nice to meet you and all that shit. Uh, why is there a gas station outside of your window? Why don't you ask me a more intelligent question? Seriously, though, how am I supposed to know? It's just... Kinda here. It wasn't here when I moved in. Now it is. It's been here for days. I can go inside and look around in there and stuff, but the owner don't like me too much. Which kinda sucks, because I get hungry. So I've hoarded all this stuff. They don't even cost anything. There's no currency in this fucking place. Interesting. I, uh... I worked at a gas station for a couple months, several years ago. Would not recommend it. That job sucked ass, and not in a fun way, as Carl would say. <laughs> uh, moving on. Employee of the month? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of cute that you noticed that. But yeah, they made me employee of the month one day. Who is they? The owner and his clones. Some scary looking dudes who own this place. The gas station, I mean. The Ma owns Penumbra Lane and the landlord is his partner or something like that. But those dudes? The dudes who own Snacks Reincarnated are no joke. I crossed one of them once. They can do that thing with their face. Trust me, you don't want to upset them. How did you get here? I wanted a stable place after my last correction situation. I figured I might finally get my shit together. Some luck. I got a call from some fucking guy telling me I already got a place. Even though it was shady, I figured I'd just bounce anyway. Don't know what I was thinking. If I ever catch that fucking landlord, I'm gonna break his neck and eat the corpse. Problem is, I can't find that bitch. Thought he was avoiding me, but it turns out this place is just giant. It's huge. I've tried everything by now. Fires, breaking shit, Jumping out this window and walking for miles? I always come back here. Fuck this. Why does this smell like battery acid in here? Does it? Yeah, I guess the incense didn't work. I tried to burn this place down. Can't. The walls are impossible to damage. Uh, there's a hole in your forehead. Oh, yeah. That's another thing I tried that didn't work. Oops, didn't mean to click that. Apparently, your stay here is just as permanent as the walls. Really annoying. Why is your name Sixth? This is my sixth attempt at living life in the outside world. I was put in feral corrections a bunch for theft and stuff, but I kept getting out of there off of cheap sentences. My friends thought I was so lucky they stopped calling me by my real name. Which is... Next question. Yeah, you're supposed to give me a key? Yeah, but like, you can't have it quite yet. 
I figured about as much. So what do you need me to do? Not much, really. <laughs> Fuck. Look, I'm starving for a particular snack. So you need me to get some snacks for you? I mean, yeah, honestly. I can't really get them a damn self. Every time I go in there, they want to crucify me for the time I stole from them. Talking about, I don't have any money and you can't just set the gas station on fire and shit. Why can't I? It don't explode anyway. Nothing dies in this place. That's actually valid. But you're also crazy. Fair. Anyways, you gonna do it or not? You just want me to get you some snacks? If you can't pay for them, how am I supposed to? I don't know. Figure it out, man. But give me those snacks. That's a bit. Hi, I'm going to save really quick. Welcome to Snacks Reincarnated. What can I get you? Yeah, I'd like some... Snacks, please. I see. We are Shaban. It is nice to meet you, Xavier. How do you know my name? We know everything about you. That... Actually sounds about right. So you know why I'm here then? We apologize in advance. How about some questions? We'd like to test your mental fortitude. I... Sure, why not? Actually, I'm gonna save here. What have you seen here today? Nothing? Good. Where are you right now? These, uh, these questions require very particular answers, and if you don't pick correctly... Wrong. Let's try that again. Who are you? I'm Xavier. Oops. I'm trying to show off the bad end here. I'm nothing special. You've got it all wrong. Again, we apologize. We are just acting like what we are. It is unfortunate that your existence is reduced to a mere puddle of melted flesh. So many unanswered questions. Whoopsie! I'm at Penumbra Lane. Yes, you're at Penumbra Lane. Who are you? I'm Xavier. Yes, that is correct. Who am I? You never existed. Very good. What are you here for? Uh, shit. What is the right answer here? I'm not here for anything. That's right. You're not here for anything. One last question. Do you think that these tenants are free of guilt? Yes, everyone. Even me. We understand you a little more now. You have survived this and other horrors. Consider yourself lucky that you have made it this far. The Maw wants you because you are strong. Be careful, or you'll end up another victim. Like us. It won't be long now, friend. Again, we're sorry. Here are some complimentary snacks. And that is that. Are you okay? Well, I almost died, sort of. My skin itches. But I'm okay, I guess. Take your snacks, please. You take the key. You deserve it. I, uh... Thanks. I'm sorry you had... 
I'm sorry you had to do that shit. It's not easy. If I could, I would have just let you have the key. You got anything else you want to say before you go? Why couldn't you just give me the key? Can't talk about it. I'm sorry. Figures. But I can tell you that the Maw isn't happy you're alive. This entire operation was set up to get you killed, and it didn't. The Maw and the Landlord worked together to keep tenants here. Since nobody wants to stay, there's no blood to keep the walls alive. They need healthy, young people with bad credit to fuel the curse. Curse? Yeah, there's a curse on this place, if you couldn't tell. Thought that might be helpful to you. Do you actually think I might make it? You know what? Yeah, I do. Good luck, man. Do you have directions to the next room? Yeah, actually. That map you've got just keeps changing, anyway. It's meant to keep you lost, basically. But three doors to the left from here, there's a door labeled Office for Rent. It ain't for rent, but it's an office for sure. Weird guy lives in there. Go holler at him. And make sure you kick the Ma's ass. For me. Will do, buddy. Hello? It's loud, but the clock doesn't make any sense. Is there... anyone here? I mean, I guess not. Take a seat there, sir. What? Who said that? I said, take a seat in one of those chairs. You're number 1,137,456,001, can't you read? It appears that you are actually incapable of reading. I need you to take a seat, you untrained dog. I'm a cat. And I'm your manager. What? You can't just skip to the front of the line, you know. What line? The line to get into another line, of course. Uh, no, no, no. I'm looking for the tenant that lives here. He has something to give me. I can't leave here without it. That's what they all say. You've got to get into line like the rest of them. Isn't there any other way? I was hoping you would ask that. I have a form for you to fill out. It is 360 pages long. What? No, I don't have time for that. It needs to get done by Wednesday. Have it on my damn desk. Look, I want you to get some work done with one of my assistants. Since you're such a burden, you should be put to work. I... Okay, great. Congratulations on the new job. Oh. Hello. Excuse me for a moment. Hi. Who are you? I'm Limbo. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. What the hell just happened? That's my manager. But I'm going to be honest with you. That's not a manager. And this isn't a corporation, as I'm sure you can tell. If you can't, you're as good as dead. What do you mean by that? I can't talk about that. We're at Elite Me, too. Do you know anything about the Landlord or the Maw? Uh... I can't really tell you much, honestly, but... Word has it that the Maw and the Landlord used to have something going on. That they used to... be normal. What? Way back in the day before the Echo, they had joint ownership of Penumbra Lane, but something didn't work out. Now there's a curse on this place. It consumes everything within it. I actually learned that from Cheldon. I thought he said he couldn't tell me much. Thanks. Uh, Limbo, was it? Anytime. What is that in the window? Ah! Why are all these chairs in here? They grow from the ground. Sometimes somebody is sitting in them. Sometimes the chairs are empty. I've calculated that there's about a 36.8% chance that there will be an occupied chair on any given weekday at random. Please help me. I can't keep drinking energy drinks. 
Has anyone else come through here? You're the first, actually. I don't know what to do. If you don't help me, I'm basically screwed. I'm just a programmer who woke up here a couple of months ago. I just want to go home. Do you need a hug, dude? That would be really nice, actually. But I have to get work done. Thank you for being so nice to me. Do you have a key for me? Yeah, but you'll have to help me out a little. Ever since I woke up here, I've been forced to fill out forms, arrange paperwork, and write out meaningless essays. I don't even get paid for this. It sucks. But there's this, there's one piece of paper I haven't been able to find. Basically, I printed out 27 copies of a document, and only one of them is actually correct. It's hidden under a bunch of trash, and I'm starting to lose my mind, I think. They all look the same, because the difference between the right one and the wrong ones is really minuscule. If I mess up any documents, Cheldon will kill me. I haven't slept in days. If you'd help me organize the paperwork, I might feel a little bit better about everything. I gotta have a few nights to sleep, even if you just help a little bit. Do you mind? I'm really sorry. Aw, oh, buddy, of course. Now I don't mind. Oh, jeez, thank you. Uh, move the items around to organize them, and then drag the correct document to the folder on the right. You should look for the one that's slightly different from the others. Take your time. An essay by, I guess, Saline Hammersworth. There is a particular phenomenon wherein the spirit of an individual who has died begins to phase into the wall and becomes stuck inside of it, becoming spiritually bound to the building itself. When this occurs, other creatures can be birthed from the walls, harboring the host's spirit. All the creatures who die in the building are a part of this cycle, and as they decay and rot, their actions are manipulated as puppets by the spirit of the host. The host is... Hoats. That's not a word as far as I'm aware. The host assimilates not only its victims, but everyone contractually bound to the building. In, anticipated, in anticipation of my murder, I will be sure to ask my colleague Western to, align, to sign a few forms. So yeah, we gotta find uh, the, right es the right essay in the sea of wrong ones, but I don't really n know how to solve this puzzle, I'll be honest. I just know that this last one is the correct one. You found it! Jeez. Alright, you deserve this. I've run out of victory jingles I can think of offhand. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I'm going to go to bed. If I can get any sleep in this godforsaken place... Thank you again, I really appreciate it. I'm sorry for asking so much. I'm sorry for inconveniencing you. I didn't even ask your name. It's Xavier, smiley face. And yeah, no, don't even worry about it. I kind of have to do this anyway, but that's not why I did it. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. And I know that you've been to other tenants, too. If you figure this out, you could help everyone here. And that's fucking huge. Good luck, Xavier. It is past my bedtime. And so they snooze. It's... pitch black again. I'm not even sure where I've stumbled into. Is this... I'm not sure how much longer I can walk. Fuck, where am I? It feels like it's been decades since I... The smell of something floral wafts in the air, tinged with the smell of something metallic. You feel sleepy all of a sudden. A new... cat? guy? <laughs> I just went through like four different voices in a single sentence. <laughs> nice. I thought cats could see in the dark. This is a different kind of darkness, I think. Advanced darkness. You're very pink. I like you. Th thanks. I imagine you know why I'm here, right? Some sort of joyride through the entire complex or something. 
Uh, no. I'm here for the last key, so I can leave this place. And the Ma hasn't turned you yet? Neat. How the hell did you get over here? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. I know it's sudden, but this could help get you out of here. Interesting. You're definitely the first guy to make it here. Yeah, I'll give you the key. But you gotta do something for me. I figured that much. What kind of room is this? Heh. <laughs> Not really much of a room, is it? When I first moved in here, it was perfectly normal. At least I think. But then weird things started happening. The walls disappeared, the ground started disintegrating, and then eventually... I can't get over this warm fog that's rolling in either. At first, I thought the landlord and the mob were trying to poison me. I lay down to die because I figured that'd be the end of me. Turns out it's just an appetizer present. Sometimes it smells like coffee. It makes me sleepy, but it smells nice. You mentioned turning. Are you feeling okay? I would say I am feeling as good as I can, considering the circumstances. I think the only way I could feel any better is if I were dead. But I won't lay down and die like the others. I won't give in, even if it costs me. I'm stronger than that. You don't seem afraid of them all. You're right, I'm not. I don't actually give a shit about either of them. I can't get my hands on them yet, so this is just a waiting meme for me. I just hold on to the memories that actually mean something. Everything I need is here. They can't take anything else from me. One moment. How did you end up here? I moved out of my parents' house. Broke up with my girlfriend. It has been hard. Figured I might look for a place with cheap rent since nobody was helping me split the cost. The landlord gave me a call and told me I should think about Pleasant Grove. And I took the opportunity like a damn fool. Who are the pictures on the wall? I think they're just people that have died here. Not here, just here in this complex. I'd like to think they're just drawn to this room because it's a positive place to be. I've made it something like that. You think you've got control over this room? I barely have control over myself. But yes, I do. That's gotta be it, yeah. Over time, I just stopped fighting it all. Like I said, I don't have anything else to lose. Once I get out of here, that's a different story, but for now, I'm just biding my time. That's the way it works. What's with the slide? It looks like fun, but it's not. It's the most uncomfortable slide I have ever slid down. Really. Do you really want to leave? I'm going to strangle the Maw and the Landlord with my bare hands and watch them choke on their own blood. But until then, I'm keeping myself busy. Thinking. Always thinking, like any good predator. Predator? That's what I am. They just don't know it yet. Nobody does. The best predators make the quiet ones. Are you sure you're okay? Only sometimes. Okay is just an illusion. If people think you're okay long enough, they don't get to see how not okay you really are. If I'm honest, I haven't been okay for a long time. You know? Yeah, actually, I do. What do you need me to do? I just need you to experience something with me. Just for a few minutes? I... It won't be long. And I'm not gonna kill you if you don't do it or anything. I just wanna see what you think. Sure. I'll explain, though. The only thing that's real, the only thing that exists, is sensation. Music, art, the feeling of holding a book in your hands. Those are the only things worth feeling. Every other feeling for me has just been a trick of the light. But especially when I listen to music, I could swear I'm endless. Would you share some music with me? 
Yeah, I'll listen to some some music with you. What did you feel? I felt endless. Actually, she said she wouldn't kill us. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Precisely. A word of advice, yeah? The landlord feels like he needs to keep making victims out of all of us. And the Maw intends on making him feel that way forever. Don't let them take any more victims. Thanks for the key, Fay. You have received all five of the keys. Da 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 da. It is too quiet here, and my throat is too dry. Where the hell is the landlord? <laughs> Figures that the both of them would dip now, actually. They have all the keys. I could either unlock all five of the doors and leave, or I could confront the landlord about getting everyone out first. Even if I do, would he actually let everyone leave? Let's just go. <laughs> You were able to successfully leave Penumbra Lane without encountering the Maw or the Landlord. Although haunted by the past, you move on and find a nice place to live. You somehow can't help feeling like you are forgetting something. But you're okay. And then the credits play. But, obviously we can't just leave everyone here. Let's find that damn landlord. Oh. Wow, you actually came by. I guess this means it's curtains for me. I'm not going to hurt you. That looks like you're already dying. I am. Because you got all the keys, I'm most likely going to bleed out here. Sal is probably going to be my demise. Sal? You mean the Maw? It's Saline. Sal. The Maw is just a stupid ass name he came up with when he lost his mind. It's a facade. I shouldn't have done what I did. But it's too late now. You mean you shouldn't have extorted innocent people by trapping them in the jaws of your fucked up business partner? Yeah, whatever, sure. But I really mean I shouldn't have killed him the way I did. That wasn't right. Yeah, I think I read something about that, but I wasn't so sure. If I hadn't have killed Sal, he wouldn't have planned ahead and bound himself to the walls. He wouldn't have hurt so many people. I'm gonna have to talk to him when I get a chance. And you are too. You gotta ask for your deposit back. I thought you said... Nah. If you get all the keys, leave and ask for your deposit back. Sal's required to give it back. And all the souls are freed, anyway. We don't have anything left. What's going to happen to you? Probably gonna get reincarnated or something, but most likely I'll end up alongside Cell, since our spirits are bound to each other. Gives us time to work things out, I guess. Sorry for the trouble, kid. That's alright. Goodbye, landlord. My name's Western. Goodbye, Western. Hello there, bright one. What can I trouble you for? Give me my damn deposit back, bitch! 
Did you hear me? There is blood on your shoes. Is that from Western? Give me my fucking deposit back! Okay. Are you sure you would not like to reconsider? We are very similar, Savior. There is a lot we could accomplish, even after Western dies. You would never have to worry about a place to stay again. This place smells like old ham. Get out of my face. You're going to free the others, right? No, thanks to you. They're already free. God damn it. Well, I tried. That's the real you. Have a good day. I'm just realizing it's probably Selene instead of Saline. Goodbye. Savior. You were successfully able to break your lease and leave Penumbra Lane. Because you signed the termination contract and spoke to them all, the souls of Penumbra Lane were freed. Although haunted by the past, you settled down somewhere and found a nice place to live. And you are okay. Hell yeah, we got out of the world's shittiest apartment complex. Thank you to Moses Kism, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Beta Tester, the inspiration behind Xavier, and my best friend who I love. Wicker, Beta Tester, creative consultant and cheese stick enthusiast, the guy who showed up to literally every stream I did while making this game and my friend. Nick, playtester slash quality control guy, friend, and generally cool guy who put up with my nonsense about this game for months. My mom, who has loved me unconditionally. My sister, who told me I could do this thing. And you, dear player. All art, animations, and music were done by Hazy Eyed. Thank you again for playing my first game. And thank you all for watching. I hope you have a safe and happy Halloween. And I <laughs> will see you all in the next video.